All right, folks. So what we have here are some Tenergy AA batteries. These are nickel metal hydride batteries, and they're rechargeable. They claim to be 2,600 milliamp hours uh, worth of capacity in these batteries. So what I want to do is throw them on the Fox Novo 4S charger and uh, and test that out and see how it goes. But before I do that, why don't y'all go grab yourself a nice cold one? Come on back and we'll get started. All right, so hopefully everybody made it back. Now I picked these batteries up after reading some mixed reviews on them, but mostly positive. And I wanted to give them a try. Uh, one, because I like playing around with batteries. Uh, and two, because I kind of needed them. I have a lot of devices that use uh, what are considered high drain batteries, which these are. Being nickel metal hydrate and all that. Now my experience, dang, these things are in here. Mm. I have to use my teeth. That did it. Um, my experience with Tenergy batteries is somewhat limited uh, to these. These are primary batteries, RCR 123s or 16340s sometimes is what they're called. And uh, I've used those in flashlights with, um, I wouldn't call them mixed results, but they weren't overly positive and they weren't overly negative. They were just batteries that, that, that worked. Um, nothing about their performance stood out to me. It made me think that, uh, wow, these are really great batteries, but for these, I don't really need really great batteries. I just need batteries because I, I cycle through them quite a bit with all my different devices, you know, flashlights and radios and scanners and such. I'm gonna have to, I think I got this one without, without using my teeth. What a pain in the ass this shrink wrap was. So I picked these up for about eight bucks, I think is what I paid. Uh, I got them from GearBest a while ago, uh, probably six months ago, and they've just been sitting in the battery bucket uh, waiting to get tested. I'll go ahead and put a link to these batteries in the description if you wanted to pick them up. You can also get them from places like Amazon, but uh, I think that they sell them in larger quantities, like you have to buy 12 or 24, or usually they'll mix them with uh, AAA batteries as well. So let's go ahead and we'll set this for a half amp charge test. So let's see if you can see that. Looks like they came out of the box at all about 1.29, which is actually pretty good. Um, so when you talk about nickel metal hydride batteries, one of the reasons people started using them as opposed to nickel cadmium cadmium batteries were the were kind of like the first rechargeable batteries is, is that these batteries have a higher density and can store more energy than the NICADs. Uh, some people say two or three times as much. And I don't really use NICADs that much. I really moved away from them a long time ago because they have what's called a memory effect. And that is where if you uh, use batteries and you charge and discharge them at a certain point without fully charging or fully discharging them, sometimes they get a memory in the battery and they stick around there. That can happen to these um, nickel metal hydrides, but it's less frequent and you can repair them by doing a few, uh, a few full cycles, complete charging and discharging of the batteries. One of the drawbacks around these nickel metal hydride batteries is, is that they tend to leak or bleed energy when they're not in use. So you can have a battery that's fully charged, put it in storage for a little while, come back to it later, and then it, uh, the, the energy is somewhat drained out of that. So batteries like these, these end loops, and I've done some videos on these, uh, they're called LSD nickel metal hydrate batteries, which is for low self-discharge rate. And they do that by putting some kind of something or other in the battery that uh, makes them hold their charge a little bit longer. Now, I've been looking for some replacements to end loops because, one, I think they're kind of expensive. And, uh, two, they're under new ownership and have been for a while. They're, uh, Panasonic sold them to Sanyo, and there's some debate around the quality of the batteries have gone down, but the price hasn't. So I bought some of these Sun Labs, and I did a video on these, and they tested out really well. Uh, the video I did was on AAAs. I'm going to do a video on these AA's. And uh, I like them, but I wanted to keep looking, and so I wanted to try these these Tenergies. So that kind of explains uh, how we got to have these Tenergies sitting on this table and getting recorded in this video. I'm going to come back when this half amp test is done, and then once that's done, we're going to also do a full amp test and see how they did. See you on a little bit. All right, folks, we're back after doing the first half-amp capacity test. 
And before we get started, I do want to make a correction. Earlier in the video, I said I got these batteries off of GearBest, and that's not true. I went back to find the link, and I realized I, I got them off of phoenixoutfitters.com, and they were $8.95. So, that being said, let's take a look and see the results. And uh, when I was doing the test, it wasn't looking that good. So, let me go ahead and zoom in on here. So you can see that they all charge to 1.41, 1.42 volts, which is good. But the capacity is showing 1044, 690, 1119, and 843. These are supposed to be around 2,600 milliamp hours. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this test again at a full amp to see if there's anything different the second time around. And this is an anomaly. I doubt it. I'm really surprised at the capacity as shown on these batteries. That, uh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> so let's run a test again at 1 amp, see what happens, and I'll come right back. All right, folks, we just finished the one amp test. And you can see they all charged up to 4.2, 4.2. I'm sorry, 1.42, 1.42, 1.45, and 1.41. So they're all over 1.4, which is good. They're all over 1,000 this time. We got a couple of them uh, close to 1,500, one over 1,500. So it's better, but this is still bullshit for a uh, 2600 milliamp hour rated battery. So I'm concerned that there was some uh, self-discharge that went on while these things were in storage, and maybe there's a, some memory effect or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run through a one more amp hour, uh, one more amp test, I should say. And uh, we're going we're gonna to top them off again. They should already be full. We're going to discharge and then fill them back up and then see what numbers we come out with. These batteries, just one thing to note, are not in the same order as they were after the first test. I took them out and just checked all the contacts to make sure that everything was good. So let's go ahead and run another test. This will be test number three and see how we do. All right, folks, we're back after test three. And uh, let's take a look at these and see what we see. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So if you look at that first one, charged to 1.43. And we're at 14.76, next one 1.43, 13.51, and then 1.44, 1.113. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a fourth test. This is going to be a pain in the ass, but uh, I believe these numbers are start are still you know BS numbers. These batteries should be should be uh, showing much higher numbers. Um, I'd be fine if they were around 2,400, but uh, I don't know if we're going to get there or not. So let's go ahead and run, run one more test. Come back at the end of test number four, but uh, right now I'm saying, hey, don't don't waste your money on these Tenergy batteries. They suck. All right, folks, we're back. We just finished up uh, test number four, which was a half amp uh, capacity test. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what we got. Let's see if I can get this to come in any better. So you can see on the first one we got 1.41 1 and then 1.45, 1 1.39, 1 1.41. 1 and the capacity is going up across the board. We've got 1676, 1714, 1787, and 1775. Uh, so they've gotten a little bit better, but uh, they're still nowhere near where their advertised capacity of 2600 uh, milliamp hours is, so, or milliamps. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, let me go back here and focus in. We are going to say that these batteries suck. Uh, I'm going to run them through uh, one, using one of my radios, my police scanner and uh, do a couple cycles there and see if they get any better. But uh, after four cycles, these things really should be a lot closer to their advertised capacity. So I'm not going to recommend them. Don't buy them. Uh, they were a fail. Thanks.